Cheers and welcome my friends, I'm Holotrak and we are playing RimWorld Alpha 16 on extreme difficulty as the uh, <clears throat> Flaming Buffalo Nomads. Welcome back. Uh, a couple of things that I wanna that I wanna have a look at. Um, one, Che told me that the food need is in here. If you mouse over you get the tooltip, you can see how much they've eaten uh, compared to the amount, the amount that they need. And I think that is that is actually related to their body size because um, humans, body size of one food need of one right a muffalo food need of two body size of two polar bear food need of uh, 2.15 body size of uh, 2.15 so i think that's it people are always eating related to your, to their body size so that's something now we're just waiting for um tinger to get out of his psychotic state and uh For um, all our animals to give birth, that's what I want to do before before we leave. Most of our muffalos and our polar bears just have a day until they give birth, so that's good. Um, we're gonna set that to be uninstalled. We're gonna stop that from being the installed because it's only a normal table. We don't really need a normal table. We're gonna reinstall these stools. Reinstall over here. Um, Right, so that's fine. Um, I'm gonna set some people to construct again. Everyone who has a passion to construct is going to construct. Right, and then we'll just let things go their way. Tinger, come on. It's not that bad. You only got rebuffed, you're tired, you're urgently hungry. Can't do anything about that. We've got the psychic drone. You've been insulted, ugly environment, awful bedroom, uncomfortable in darkness, and you're wearing the clothes of a dead person. I've seen worse. <laughs> Chill. Yeah, March has a minor break risk. Uh, what's happening? Cabin fever, mild. I need to go outside. Um, aren't people unrestricted? Yeah, they are unrestricted. Shun has gotten food poisoning from Pemmican. Tell you what, extreme break risk on Tinger. Okay, Tinger is out of his out of his psychotic state, and he's gonna eat his simple meal that he has. That's good. Maybe you'll you'll eat another one. Um, I'm gonna unforbid this, and I will actually go ahead and put another horseshoe pin out here. Oh, we have a herd of raw, of rare thrombos. Peaceful by nature, these rare creatures are extremely dangerous when confronted. Some traders are willing to pay a lot of money for their precious leather and horn. Thrombos will leave the area in a few days. Um, they're very difficult to hunt. You could try to tame them. But it would be a long shot. It would be a long shot. Male and... Oh, two males. But they're also eating a crap ton. Because they have a body size of 3.50. Um, you can train them to be haulers, but they're not um, very very good haulers. No, we're, got, we're just going to leave them in peace. Normally, I might hunt them. I'm just getting ready to leave this godforsaken place. Tinger is, is sleeping. That's fine. Okay, so now we got a normal wooden horseshoe pin. Everything that we want to take with us has been deconstructed. Just waiting on um, on our animals for them to give birth. That would be good. Yeah, we've got a bunch of joints now. That's pretty good. I think I let everyone smoke a joint before we leave. And I tell you what, I will actually go ahead and really force people to sleep during that time so that we have one time when we when we break up do something like this so they've so they've slept out um, we're gonna allow them to eat at eight o'clock in the morning oh yeah people have to have to go to sleep during the night I'm just gonna force them to because I want them well rested. Navigator has given birth. Tar has given birth. Blossom, Penny. So that's all our muffalos. The psychic drone has ended. That's very good. Blue has given birth. Macy's pregnant. Mistari has given birth. 
So only B Shaman is left from the polar bears. Poison is pregnant here. Yeah, our our animals are getting pregnant there. That's fine. Naomi is pregnant. Minor break risk. That's fine. How are you looking, Modge? Awful bedroom. Yeah, why are you wearing that dead man's toque? I don't want that. Just get rid of it. Um, Tinger, same thing. Cloth tribal wear. I don't want people to wear the dead man's toques. Yeah, you're also wearing stuff from a dead man. Uh, I'm gonna forbid the toques. Where are they? Yeah, they're forbidden now. Right. So people won't won't actually put them on. Um, that is at least one small debuff that I can that I can get rid of. the the bonded uh, the bonded animal that died. That's just. I'm not sure I can get rid of that. Okay. Last night in our in our old home, Shakar building a snowman. Half and a mocha sleeping. Yeah, everyone's going to bed now. Very good. That bird belongs to nobody. Weep is gonna lose the warm clothes. Why are you guys up again? Geo. Where's your bed? Over here. Can't force you to rest. I guess your yeah, your sleep need is is full. Okay, we'll let the others rest. And then we'll we'll start. It's gonna be fine. Fox Royd is smoking. Just waiting for these guys to wake up. We're still cooking. Which is fine, I guess. How are the moods of everybody? Yeah, you're fine. You're not great. You're playing horseshoes. Yeah, I'm gonna let you play horseshoes. Everybody should wake up now. Seven. These guys are still not done. Come on, guys. Get up. Still not quite there. We'll get some cargo pods. Ooh, nice. Herbal meds. I don't mind. Getting 17 more herbal meds. That's actually quite useful. You're cooking a simple meal, but would you mind hold those, uh, holding those herbal meds? That would be really good. 17 more medicine. That's amazing. It makes quite a difference. I mean, we've got 126. We haven't been expanding that much of our medicine yet. What are you doing? We wandering. Okay. Oh, you're idle. Yeah. I guess that's that. It's fine, though. Collecting the medicine. Orange. Come on. Bring it. Okay. Right. Orange, you're a teetotaler. Teetotaler. Um, so you're not gonna... Go for that, but we. Um, I want everyone to go for some for some smoke leaf now, if they can. Um, profit, some smoke leaf. I want these people high as a kite. Shikar, smoke leaf. Profit, you're already going. Bula, smoke leaf. Smegol. Smoke leaf, Geo, Smoke leaf. We're gonna be, we wanna be drugged um, when we go, so that people don't don't break while we're trying to leave. Um, anyone else? Modge? Yeah, you're already going to to smoke something. Um, you're gonna you're gonna smoke something. That's fine. Boxroid. Go ahead, have a joint. Tinger, you're already high, I guess. Yeah, that's fine. Orange boot, but everyone else is smoking, I think. Um, are you high? Yeah, you're high. And uh, Geo, are you high, Geo? Oh, come on. Yeah, you're stoned on smoke leaf. And Bula. 
I'm going to unrestrict you as well. You're also on smoke leaf. That's fine then. Okay. Now, let's go. Let's go ahead and actually leave this um, forsaken place. All our animals have um, gotten their baby. Some of them are still pregnant, but uh, most of the other animals don't really want. Uh, are not going to give birth for a while. So, let's go. Now, world map. I'm going to return to the world map. And assembling the caravan is not without its problems, actually. Because once, you, once you're committed to assembling a caravan... Um, you are committed. You can no longer stop it, which is kind of odd. Even if you get attacked by pirates or if someone has a psychotic break, then uh, you're still committed. People will just wait until the psychotic break is over and then they will continue to assemble the caravan. But uh, if they already loaded all your foods into the caravan, then you are out of luck. So it is uh, kind of risky. Now, we want to exit the map over here um, into that boreal forest. And that's one of these places has, yeah, I think it was that one. One of these has the 20 days growth period. So that's where we want to go um, over here. So tell you what, we're going to form the caravan. Um, we're going to take everyone. We're going to take all the animals. going to take all that. Um, the muffalos will be able to carry 70 um, kilos, and even the small muffalo calves will be able to carry a little bit, about half of what a human can carry. So that's good. Kind of odd that the polar bears won't um, be able to carry anything, but oh well, that's fine. And then in terms of <clears throat> these things, we're going to take everything here. We're going to take everything here. We're going to take not everything here. We're going to only take 36, I think, or let's say 40. No, actually, we've got to take everything. Yeah, it's going to be fine. Let's hope that we get out of this quickly enough. And then, uh, yeah, I'm not sure what we're going to do over here. I think we'll only take the, the Mega Sloth wool and the Buffalo leather. We don't need all the leather all the leather types. I don't think that's necessary. I think we'll just leave it behind because we're going to get a lot of, a lot of wool soon. We aren't really lacking for, for leather. So let's take all the jo uh, joints, the silver and the steel and the smoke leaves. Let's take the wooden stool, the beds, definitely the telescope, all that kind of stuff. That's what we want. Not the steel slags or anything. That's not what we want. We're at one ton already. Um, let's take the weapons. I don't want to take the dead man's tubes because these annoy me. Um, then let's go with the gold and that's gonna be about it I'm not gonna take any wood because we are traveling to a boreal forest so it doesn't make any sense I'm not gonna take the blocks because they're too heavy and I'm not gonna take all the leather stuff over here that's gonna be fine I mean I could I, I reckon I could we only take the muffalo leather though so I think that's right because I'm expecting more muffalo leather to uh, to be in my inventory at some point. And it is the leather of our own animals. Mega sloth wool is actually kind of nice. Um, it's very warm. I mean, we could leave it behind. It's also valuable. And the other stuff is also valuable. Could sell that, that stuff if we wanted to. Um... Doesn't really make a lot of sense to leave it, so let's try to take it. We'll bring it with us, all the leather stuff that we got from hunting and things. Okay. Right, that's gonna be good enough. And then we're gonna go back to the world. And what I'm gonna do is I will set all the doors to be held open so that people don't have to open and close them all the time. Right, so now people will first gather the um, the animals. Cargo pods. You've detected a cluster of cargo pods crashing nearby. That's fine. Um, what's in there? More mega sloth wool. You, you're taunting me, Cassandra. You're taunting me. Right, and once all the animals are assembled, people will start um, loading stuff on the pack animals. All the berries, all the things that we have. I'm just going to leave that at speed 3. And we have to hope that nothing goes wrong, because if it does, we're stuck. With a caravan that is half assembled, people that are not going to go out. We have no break risks on people, so that's good. Everyone is high as a kite. 
Because of course we are. That's just how we roll. Why would we go for all the smoke leaf? If we didn't want to be high as a kite. <laughs> it's exactly for these purposes that I that I grew it. I think that is how you um, can use drugs the most uh, at the most effective. At least in the game. Um, someone needs warm clothes. That's fine. Yeah, we're getting there. We just need all the food now. Oh, and we're starving. No, that's not good. That's not good. Why are you starving so fast? We're still busy collecting all the crap. Let's just hope that weep doesn't break before we before we get out of the um, before we finish assembling the caravan. That would be that would be super bad. Even weep is hauling stuff to the caravan now. That's pretty good. I like it. We're nearly there. Nearly there. Just a couple more food things. Major break risk. Yeah, that's not good. Profit. Can't you eat something? Eat the berries. And we... Eat some berries as well. Come on, guys. Okay. Okay, yeah, people e are eating. The break risks have gone away. Shakar, what's happening? You're hungry. You're super hungry. Consume the berries, come on. Eat the berries, dude. Don't starve. Don't starve. Prophet and Shakar. Still unhappy. But we're leaving. We're leaving. We're leaving. Come on. You can do it, guys. Don't break. Don't break. Don't break. We wanna be gone. And there are the animals. Come on, guys. Nice! Okay, we did it! We did it. We actually managed to set the caravan on the path. It has appeared exactly where we want it to be. It's over here. Um, now what we're gonna do, um, because otherwise the time will pass very slowly, is we're gonna abandon our own our old area. We're no longer we're no longer um, based there. Now let me have a look. I think I 10 days, 10 days, 10 days. This is the good the good spot that we want to go. So over here, right? Yep. That's the proper spot where we want to go. Um, okay, caravan is ready. Yes, okay, fine. Uh, now we're going to start. We're going to start. The caravan is going to move. Um, generating map for new encounter. What do we have? Our caravan has been ambushed by the frogs. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> okay, these guys are going for go juice. I couldn't have I couldn't have thought of a worse way how this could have gone. Now we have all our possessions, all our people over here. We will have to we won't have any medicine to go with. It's all very bad. But yeah. I'll Yeah. We'll try it. We'll try it. Um, we've got a bunch of defensive things over here. What do you, what do you guys have? An LMG, another LMG, sniper rifle, charge rifle, Molotov cocktails, machine pistol, a minigun, sniper. And we have no defensive capabilities whatsoever. These guys are prepared for that. We aren't. Let's bring up Buddha. Let's bring... Orange over here. Let's bring Boxroid. Let's bring Tinger. Halfhand. Modge. Weep, you're gonna stay behind. Weep, you, you, you're not gonna fight. Well, you can fight in a very small capacity over here. Um, you're moving. Profit, you're still watching for targets. You're gonna stay over there. At least they don't have a rocket launcher. That would have pissed me off. Let's 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 bring you over here. Oh, over here maybe. We'll try to funnel them into this place. Shakar, you're watching for targets. You come over there. Modge, you're moving. Everyone is moving now, I think. No, GSR is still waiting for targets. Hmm. 
We'll bring you over there. Well, I'm not sure if these guys give the same cover as the as the big ones, but let's just hope that it uh, that they do. Moving, moving. Just leave us poor tribes people alone. I actually find that very annoying. Just fag off. We're not doing anything to you. What do you want? I guess they want all our money. I guess they want to take all our money. That must be it. Come on, people. Come on. No, Harfan took a headshot. And they're attacking our animals. Really? Just fag off. Buddha. No. Go there. Stay there. Stay in, stay in cover. Why are they attacking our animals? Come on. Smeargol. Um, extinguish the fire and weep. Come on. Yeah, you're beating the fire out. Good. 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 Why are you attacking our animals? Macy has been shot to death. Horrible. Horrible. Really horrible. Tango is being shot to death. Must be fun for these assholes. Tango has been shot to death. This is how we die, I guess. Yeah. This is how we go down. They're killing our animals. There's not much that I can do. Stop killing our animals, you bastards. I hate these guys. I hate them with a passion and a vengeance. To the point where I would like to eat them if I can get my hands on them. God damn it. Just leave us alone. Yeah, we're getting slaughtered. We're getting totally slaughtered here. It's horrible. Yeah. The animals are going berserk because every time someone who's bonded to them dies. Oh yeah, Buddha is down. I only have two people up. Geosa and Modge. So this is the way... <laughs> this is the way this ends, eh? Someone with an SMG attacking Mod over there. The Chews are killing our, killing our polar bear. I think we're done for. Trauma Savant. Pyramus' brain injury has caused him to develop strange Savant-like abilities. That's kind of nice, but it's not going to help you much. You're kidnapping Mod. Yeah, why not? I mean. We others are already dead. Why are you why are you doing that though? What are you what are you? Careful shooter, you're kind. Okay, I would not have expected that from someone who shoots our animals to death. Okay, all our animals had a mental break. We're completely dead. <laughs> it's horrible. Yeah, I'm not sure what we're gonna do now. If I'm just gonna reload the game. I really don't know. I would like to. Because it's it's very unsatisfying. We try to we try to go out into the world and then we just get gunned down and lie there in the mud. Um I wanna leave that to you. If uh, if you wanna see the series continue, then uh, tell me and we'll try that again with the whole with the whole caravan. And if not, then we'll just <laughs> then we'll just end the series here. And I thank you, I thank you for watching. This has been <laughs> nasty. We had no chance taking these guys out. I don't think we had no defenses. Um, they had a lot more people than we did, um, and they caught us with everything. We have no way of patching people up. We have no way to flee. Um, yeah, that's how it goes on extreme difficulty. So. 
yeah, thank you very much for watching. Let me know in the comments if you want to see the series continue um, from a prior save. Hope you join me next time, or thanks for watching, depending on what you decide. Thanks, and bye-bye.